big deal right here this is the big deal man this is probably what everybody want to know about so um it's a rumor it's just rumor it's just speculation nothing is is finite nothing is confirmed um it's just a rumor but to me this makes sense uh this is coming from bounding in the comics it says new rumor claims marvel studios is reevaluating its release lineup for phases five and six over concerns about poor quality um this rumor comes on the heels of the walt disney company announcing that bob Iger has returned to the company as ceo and replaced bob chapek along with the announcement of Iger's return Walt Disney Company revealed in the SEC filing they would be making significant changes to the company's structure and specifically on how it approaches distributing its content. The SEC document states, as complemented by the leadership change announcement, we anticipate that within the coming months, Mr. Iger will initiate organizational and operating changes within the company to address the board's goals. While these plans are in early stages, changes in our structure and operations, including within DMED and including possibly our distribution approach and business slash distribution platform selected for the initial distribution of content can be expected. The restructuring and change in business strategy once determined could result in impairment charges, it adds. Uh, for those unfamiliar, uh, w -M uh, DMED, it stands for Disney Media and Entertainment Division. And it's one of the two Walt Disney Company's main segments, the other being Disney Parks and Experiences and Products. That's DPEP. Uh, DPEP, yeah. Uh, as noted in the company's website, DMED is responsible for the PL management and all distribution, networking, and engineering operations, sales, advi advising, advertising data, and certain key technology functions worldwide for the company's content engines. DMED also manages operations of the company's streaming services, including Disney Plus. Hulu, ESPN Plus, and Disney Plus, Hot Star, and domestic broadcast and cable television networks. Uh, and it's a rumor that some places in the world, they're getting rid of the Disney Channel. That's why I was reading that the other day. Like, the Disney Channel, I think uh, Russia is getting rid of it. I think China, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these places are, um, abroad and overseas are getting rid of the Disney Channel. I don't know if it's politically charged i don't know if it's just disney and, and a business move i don't know what it is man but that's what i was reading um so following the confirmation of all that um the site adds as phase four comes to a close we've been informed of internal negative feedback about how phase four was handled regarding product distribution and quality that says a lot right there um it says it's trying to change the way to do business and this is coming from the Cosmic Circus about Marvel Studios reevaluating its release. And if this is true, that quote that I just read, a phase, as phase four comes to a close, we've been informed of internal negative feedback about how phase four was handled regarding product distribution and quality. Yeah. Uh, and, and when they say product distribution, because it's two things in that um, phrase or that, that statement, product distribution too much product when you when you give too much product and you oversaturate the market the demand goes away especially if it's bad product that's where the quality comes in phase four was a lot of product majority of that product was mid to piss poor it had some in exceptions in there i think spider-man no way home um black panther is is doing pretty good the rest of that i know one division loki but a lot of that stuff was mid i mean or or i mean i had i might i myself like miss marvel did not like moon knight she hope was just garbage can juice utter disaster um falcon and the winter soldier hawkeye to me was a hidden gem i know uh that's not a uh 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 what i'm trying to say a lot of people put hawkeye down I, I think hawkeye is was pretty good out of that phase but yeah just a lot of it was debatable whether it was good or not how about that and when you're dealing with marvel and the mcu you don't have debates like that for the most part right um especially when you're this deep in and i i know a lot of people try to make excuses for phase four oh uh this is just like phase one they're introducing um new characters yada 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 
But a lot of the characters that they introduced, nobody asked for. A lot of the stuff that they did, nobody asked for. And, and it was not needed to continue on with a uh, coherent story, right? And you see a lot of fumbles with what happened in Phase 4. I know Black Panther is, is in the movie theaters right now, Wakanda Forever, and it seems to be doing good. I doubt it makes that billion-dollar mark. Uh, the movie itself, the writing was horrible. You go back to She-Hulk. She-Hulk making fun of the fans. Who makes fun of the customer? That didn't make sense. That does not make sense. I know. Oh, they're trying to, they're outsmarting the inset. No, you're making fun of the customer. That's what you're doing. You're making, you out, you'll never see something. You, if you sell a product, you don't make fun of the people who buys the product. To try to cater to 1% of people who don't even really care about the product. For clicks, because that's all that was. Moon Knight was just bad to me. I just didn't like it. That's me. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, phase four was just handled poorly, man. Bad performance, poor performance. So, in order to correct this poor performance and the quality of phase four films and television series, Marvel Studios would be implementing a quality over quantity approach to these phases. And you have to do that. You have to, because, like I said, BP, Wakanda Forever, there was, where's the quality control in that? That writing, it's too many plot holes. Too many plot holes. Had nothing to do with the first film. It made Wakanda look just inept in everything that they do. But this goes back to uh, what the producer Nate Moore says, right? They don't hire writers who are fans of the material. And when you don't hire writers who are fans of the material, the quality goes down because they don't know how to handle the material. Imagine hiring um, a writer who, a white writer, who wants to tell a story of blacks during the Civil War era. Or blacks in general. Hire a white writer to do inner city black, you know what I'm saying? Like a movie like uh Boys in the Hood, Menace to Society, and you're white, you know what I'm saying? If you have a genre like that and you hiring white writers, how to or you do religious films, you know what I'm saying? You do religious films and you hire atheists. Or somebody who don't even has no faith, don't believe in, in none of that. That's it sounds crazy, right? Sound real crazy. I, I'm it's a it's just a major disconnect. I don't really get it. You know what I'm saying? Um one of the changes that this site claims Marvel Studios will implement is a change in the release schedule as well as changing in the formats of various various projects. Yeah, they just released too much. It was too much on their plate. Too much on their plate. They also know that similar to Daisy Zavlov uh, asking various DC-related projects, Marvel Studios could do the same, decided to search in the most extreme and unlikely of cases. A postponement of outright cancellation of a project could occur if it doesn't align with Marvel's overarching plans for the multiverse saga. Um, it's no surprise to anyone, but the biggest Marvel shields <laughs> that Marvel Studios fare following Avengers Infinity War has been subpar. Uh, one need only look at box office revenue to see that people aren't going to the theaters to see these films. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, Black Widow, Eternal are all at the bottom of the worldwide total gross charts for Marvel Cinematic Universe films. Uh, Thor Love and Thunder performed worse than Thor Ragnarok. Black Panther Wakanda Forever is nowhere near matching the box office sales of the first Black Panther film. Dr. Strange in the Multiverse of Madness and Spider-Man No Way Home are the only two films to break the mold of the phase. Um, and they have a chart right here. They have this chart. Hopefully, y'all can see this chart. And it shows, you know, opening week, domestic box office, worldwide box office, and the budgets for uh, these films. So if we go into Spider-Man No Way Home, which was a phase four film, the budget was 200000 It's opening weekend. It did 260, uh, 200000 200 million. It's opening weekend. It did two hundred and sixty million. Uh, at the domestic box office, it did eight hundred million. 
for a worldwide total of 1.9 billion dollars right um let's go into let's see another phase four dr strange multiverse of madness 200 million budget 187 opening weekend 411 million uh domestic 952 million for total worldwide box office gross see another one like you can see it just continuously going down love and thunder 250 million dollar budget 144 opening weekend 343 uh domestic gross 747 worldwide gross black panther wakanda forever they don't even have the budget for this <laughs> but 181 181 million 380 gross for domestic 688 worldwide i think it just crossed seven um i don't know when this chart was made but i, I think it just crossed seven and i don't even know if that you know what i'm saying they could be inflating the numbers i don't know i don't know but um what's another one what did we shang chi 150 for the budget 75 million opening week 224 million uh domestic gross 432 world it didn't even get to 500 million y'all now a lot of things considering uh coming you know some of these films we were coming out of the pandemic some of these films were uh theater and um disney plus like black widow black widow did 200 million budget with 80 million uh um with that domestic oh, opening weekend i'm sorry 80 million opening weekend 183 domestic 739 million total so yeah it's just down 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 um nobody wants to admit but the quality has been shit. it's been bad you know what i'm saying it's been bad eternal the black widow the lowest rated mcu films with a score 6.3 through 11 thunder six the third worst score 6.3 dr strange in the multiverse of madness may have a higher box office gross but it's the seventh worst rated film with a score 6.9 Black Panther Wakanda Forever is also at the bottom half of all MCU films. It's tied for the 13th worst. The only Phase 4 film that truly breaks the mold is Spider-Man because Spider-Man is like DC's Batman. Like, you just can't go wrong with Spider-Man. I think it just, that's the cheat code. Uh, it's third best rated film with a score 8.3 behind both Infinity War and Endgame, which are tied for the first at 8.4. Um, and Shane chi is at 7.4, which ties it for the 18th worst. So, yeah man um they have to do some reevaluating over there restructuring see what they can do um just go to the drawing board they've given it's just too much it's too much dope on these streets man <laughs> too much it's just too much you know what i'm saying and they got to slow down they got to figure out a better release schedule give us better quality um a lot of these things they went nowhere moon knight didn't do nothing for the mcu uh she hope didn't do nothing for the mcu like a lot of these just one-offs just um didn't really do nothing for the mcu proper i hate to say it but it didn't i did like uh werewolf by night and the guardians of the galaxy um, ho um holly holiday special i thought that was dope but other than that they just really ain't go nowhere they ain't do nothing for for um the mcu so um <laughs> i don't know what to tell you feige you know feige now from what i understand he he didn't have full control of the property like he once had during this phase maybe we can see him start reeling some things in you know uh getting that control back because it's needed maybe he can reel some of these directors in some of these writers in and say hey look we not straying too far over this way or that way uh, we just gonna give good concise stories and hopefully we we get some good stuff man that's 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 really all i can say i don't want to go into the politics of it uh it's kind of self-evident as of as what's going on i know a lot of people don't want to admit it but nah it's it's self-evident of, of what's really going on and hopefully we see some better product i just you know what i'm saying i don't care if it's all female i don't care if it's all male 50 50 homogenous you know what i'm saying but just give us better product give me better stories and make sure it's good quality 
and quit killing off everybody this the the thing about marvel is you're not gonna read it's not gonna be a reboot but you don't have to kill off everybody right you don't have to kill off everybody and i like the multiversal thing because it keeps this it it allows for us not to have to reboot because we can just bring in a different tony stark or whatever but we didn't I, to me you didn't have to kill him you could have recast just like t'challa but i ain't gonna get in that on this one i'm not gonna get into that but but a proper recast to keep the character going because this is a connective thing and it can run and keep running just like in the comics to me it's no need just keep it moving keep it pushing but we'll see y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments y'all hit me back 